What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS 14.4, if you're already on the beta and then I have some good news for you because if we go into our system settings and go to where it says software update, you can see that we have one available right here and this is 14.4 beta 3. At the time of this recording, this, available, this update is only available to developer beta testers. If you're a public beta tester, then look forward to this update maybe tomorrow or a few days after and if we go to the more info tab right here you can see the update size on my macbook pro comes in at 2.39 gigs updating from macOS 14.4 beta 2. Now, right here when it comes to macOS 14.4 beta 3, you can see the download file size is 2.39 gigs, which is pretty much the same as what we saw. So there is no change when it comes to that. And that is something that's good about this update. And to be specific, I started seeing this when it comes to macOS Sonoma 14.4 from the first beta going forward. So kudos for Apple for doing this. And now I would like to show you some other updates that Apple released today because this is not all that came out you can see we have ios alongside ipad os 17.4 beta 3 we have mac os 14.4 beta 3 of course this is the video for that we also have tv os 17.4 beta 3 and we have vision os 1.1 beta 2 for some reason this is in beta 2 maybe it's because the vision pro just was recently released and the last one we have is watch os 10.4 beta 3 now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men of tech so definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date so just like that my device is now up to date if we go into our system settings and then go to general and go to software update you can see we are now up to date and current with a build number that ends with an e23e5196e so in a sense we're still stable because on the previous beta we actually had an e so more or less the same and now in terms of what are the changes or the new features and changes that are here the first change here has to do with facetime i've opened up facetime as you can see in the top left corner and the change that apple has done here is to save face for many users because thanks to the new interactions that facetime has when you raise up your thumb or do this or make a heart there's a number of users that have complained for this when they were like in very important meetings and interactions just come out of nowhere so starting with this mac os 14.4 beta 3 going forward apple is defaulting reactions to off so you won't see my reactions here because i'm using a third party camera but if we go to where it says video here and then select facetime video my video is going to go all terrible but this is my uh, macbook camera now but here if we go to reactions you can see the different reactions that you can do thumbs up it does this and then thumbs down it does this you see it rains and then if you do a heart it does this you do like a thumb up like this it does like a like so these are some they, they're pretty good reactions right and starting with this update in order to uh, avoid accidental triggers or unintentional triggers apple is removing these uh, or switching reactions off by default just like this and now users will have to manually enable this if this is something that they want to turn on in order to save face or save you from being embarrassed in the meeting when you are explaining something and all of a sudden you have fireworks in the background so that's just one change that's here with this update another change that's here with this update that's actually a good one has to do with canal panics that have been resolved so if you're experiencing a number of canal panics on your device where sometimes it will just all of a sudden restart out of nowhere or force close your applications out of the blue and then it would say this quit unexpectedly report well this update at least for me and my experience and from what i've seen online seems to fix a lot of canal panics which is something that's good and it goes to show how stable it's working as we go on closer to the release date something else that has been incremented with this update you can see when you open up your apple tv application for the first time like i just did here you have a new splash screen that's just telling you watch now and with now watch now is home and add from previews now if you click start right now you can see watch now this has been 
turned to home like what it said and not only that but if you click on the apple tv icon right there and then go to about you can see the version has been incremented by two before we used to have 1.4.4.38 but now we the last two digits are dot four four that's actually an increment of four and this same version is also in another application so if you close our apple tv app here and then go to apple music you can see the listen now is also now at home so a lot of things are becoming home like this and if you click on apple music and go to about you can see we have the same version as the apple tv 1.44 dot four dot four four and before it used to be one dot four dot four dot three eight so same changes in terms of the version are uh, similar to what we saw with the apple tv application this just goes to show how apple is working to try and make these apple tv application updates by incrementing it so that it supports one the 180 degree view of the vision pro and to try and bring the cool new movies like the beekeeper this is one that i think i'll be watching pretty soon and another change that's here with this update has to do with steve moza shout out to steve moza over on x you can see some icons that he was able to notice thanks to the new updates and right here you can see an apple tv with a mic and then we have an apple tv with a camera right there but i so far i haven't been able to see that and then also something that is still missing since the beta one of this mac was 14.4 if we go into our system preferences and then go to where it says wallpaper right here you can see if you go all the way down we are missing the pro black wallpaper that came out when apple released the m3 macbook pros that are available in black so they are not here they used to be like some of the first few things that apple showed and we are missing the new wallpapers for the imax but what we have here are like the last ones which we have here for the new macbook airs which are not the greatest in my opinion but yeah at least these ones haven't disappeared hopefully when this update releases or when the rc version comes out this wallpaper section would have uh, apple would probably bring this back so another change also that's here with just in mac os 14.4 in general if you press command uh option control command and spacebar you get to see your emojis right here so this is my emojis and right here you can see when it comes to the face emojis apple has added a few other new emojis so for example if you look at this head shaking horizontal that's a new one if you also look at this one face head shaking vertically that's a new emoji as well and then if you go to the food you notice we have this slime that is new we have another mushroom and then if you go to i believe it's objects as well and family we have a few added emojis that have been added and these are increments to some of the existing emojis you can see here all these icons have been improved slightly compared to what we had before another change that's here has to do with podcast well when you open up podcast for the first time there's a new pop-up screen that tells you what's new in podcast this update also has minor siri improvements for germany and for languages that can read your messages in that don't have to be set as the default language so basically that's about it when it comes to this mac os 14.4 beta 3 it still has an e at the end and when it comes to the release date this goes to tell us a lot because you can see today the date right here is the 13th so expect either I, I, although i feel like on the 20th apple will probably release the release candidate version and then maybe on the 26th apple might release the official version of mac os sonoma 14.4 in order to comply with eu recommendation or eu requirements for the iphone and the app store so i have a feeling that on the 20th we'll get the rc and then on the 26th we might get the official version but then if we get a beta 4 then beta 4 will be on the 20th and then rc on the 27 and an official release maybe on march 4th but i highly my my bet would be on the 26th of february so basically that's about it for me when it comes to this mac os 14.4 beta 3 let me know what you think about this video if you like it leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace